really remind yourself why you are doing what you're doing what is it that you want to achieve um how do you expect to get there um what obstacles can you envision coming your way um so that you expect them and you know how to deal with them when they do arise Thanks for joining us today at Gen Z Talks for what is the last episode of 2020 for the Gen Z Talks Around the World series. During this time, I've been privileged to speak to many young people from around the world who've shared their skills, knowledge and experiences on different topics that young people can benefit from. And today we've got another very important topic of what experiences can students build up now to benefit them when they graduate, to help them with searching for jobs and securing the job they want. I'm delighted to be joined today by a very special guest from the UK who's had a fantastic year. She graduated in law with a first at the University of Essex and soon after secured a training contract to start at a prestigious law firm in 2021. She's currently studying the LPC LLM at the BPP Law School in London. So I'm delighted to welcome today my sister, Lucy Day. Welcome, Lucy. Hello, thank you for having me on. No, thanks for um, thanks for joining me today. It's been a really great year for you. So um, yeah, definitely. I know you've got a lot of value to um, to give young people. Perhaps you can start yeah. with your journey and give a summary of kind of from starting university to where where you are now. I went started uni in two thousand and seventeen. Um, I was lucky enough to get a place on on my desired degree course. Um, I spent three years studying there. Um, I did lots of um, extracurricular activities and, and um, work placements and work experience whilst at uni um, just to bolster my CV as much as possible um, and gain as much experience as I can whilst studying, which I know is hard anyway. Um, I managed to graduate with a first, um, which I still can't, can't quite believe, to be honest. Um, and from gaining that first, I was lucky enough to secure um, some funding towards my master's. Um, I'm currently, as you say, studying the LPC LLM at BPP. So that's where I am now. I, as you say, I managed um, to secure a training contract which, which starts next September um, once I finish um, my current master's degree. Um, and then, yeah, that, that's what I'll be going on to do. What experiences did you build up and how did you come across them? And how did you select what experiences to kind of build up so that it helped you um, towards what job you wanted to go into after uni? For me, well, for, for any, um, you know, any student, mm -hmm. I think it's really important to know what you don't want to do as a, as a job, as a career, um, just as much as it is to know what, you know, what you do want to do. I think there's a lot of pressure on students, especially, you know, in their first and second year of study to know what they want to do once they graduate. And a lot of students don't. And, and it can be quite overwhelming. Whilst at uni, I, um, the first opportunity that I had was our university's law clinic. Um, Essex Law Clinic is, is great and it's grown so much over the years. Um, I joined when I started my degree in year one um, and volunteered there throughout the three years of my degree um, in varying roles and, um, you know, various positions. Um, ultimately, the, the service is to provide free legal advice um, and I got to experience a few different areas of law by volunteering there. Um, and it was by volunteering there that I found um, one of my real passions, which is family law. Um, from that, I, I was able to get involved then in the family, family law project um, and other projects that sort of I took a natural interest in. Um, and that really gave me so, so much experience. Um, another thing that a lot of universities offer, um, so it's not just related to law, is a placement module. Um, in my final year, I chose to take a placement module where you gain academic credit for um, for working essentially so it's 
it's assessed differently. You don't produce um, an essay or have an exam, but you produce continuous reflective pieces of work. And it's, um, it's really career focused and you are required to reflect on your work experience during that module and how you think it will now help you secure a job. Um, and then thirdly, I researched um, other voluntary positions in my local area and um, I had heard about a family law charity um, that operates um, in the same town as my uni. Um, I contacted them to see if I could volunteer with them, had an interview and then for the best part of a year um, volunteered with them two days a week providing telephone and email advice. Um, again that was a, an invaluable opportunity with an amazing team that taught me so so much. Um, so essentially I think first see what your university offers. Um, you know the university is a great um, resource because it's not just there to educate you they're there to set you up you know in your chosen career when you leave and there are often a lot of extracurricular um, opportunities you just need to to find out about them and, and take you know take a chance I do think that you by reaching out to, to local um, you know whether it be for work experience or, or an insight day or even um, just to have a telephone call to have a chat about your career options reaching out to local firms or, or charities or companies or whatever it is that you want to do um, is a good way to gain experience what other things in addition to um, building up work experience could students do whilst at university i think especially now with the whole covid situation um, it's obviously difficult to to get in-person work experience um, however there are a lot of good online work experience resources um, i know that um, for law there's a there's a um, website called inside sherpa and they um, provide free um, work experience courses by some huge huge um, companies um, I, I don't think it is just um, confined to law. I think I think they do, um, you know, other subjects. But um, aside from online work experiences, I think um, researching your career and networking within your chosen field um, now would be a good time to do that because you can't really do a lot in person. Everything at, as it is is online because of COVID. Um, yeah. yeah, I think networking now is a, is, a, is a really good tool that could set you up and, you know, put, put you in people's minds for when an opportunity does arise, when we can go back to face to face. Yeah, LinkedIn seems to be a, a very popular platform which um, young people are using to their advantage. Uh, yeah, definitely. I've seen a real growth in it, in it lately. Yeah, and I've seen actually a lot of um, companies um you know recruiters influencers saying yeah. that you know forget about focusing all your energy on the cv go all in on linkedin is what they've been yeah. saying and i can see what they mean in terms of the contacts you can meet on linkedin um you know there's all sorts of opportunities which i'm seeing for young people um, yeah not just um, work experience or building your network but also kind of mentorship which you can, which, you know, older established workers are normally more than happy to do for young people. For myself, I've had, um, you know, so, some really high up lawyers, some, some barristers and solicitors message me and, you know, congratulate me or, um, you know, offer their support or say, look, if you, if you want me to look over an application, then I'm happy to do that. And I think that does come from the networking side of it. Um, but I do think it's a great opportunity that, that, you know, young students should take advantage of, especially now while people are so active on it. Yeah. Yeah. Especially now as kind of online is um, kind of the place where you still have um, flexibility to meet people. And yeah, there's exactly. No, there's no restrictions in place. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. Uh, yeah good points there, Lucy. And um, going back to the experiences you built up, um, how did you manage um, working, you know, so intensively um, on your degree to, you know, to get uh, an amazing first in law, which is, you know, incredible. 
how did you manage your time to to be able to to do that as well as building up work experience as well as you know your day-to-day social life outside of that if if you even had one (laughs) yeah (laughs) that's the thing you don't really have much of a social life when you're studying law um but no it 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 really is just all about organization. I think you need to, you know, plan your weeks out, schedule your, your study time, schedule your um, time that you're building your work experience. So whether that be that you've actually got an employed job or a voluntary position or just scheduling time to perhaps research firms that you'd like to work at. If you research the type of firms that you want to work for, and then perhaps follow them, you know, on social media, follow their websites throughout your, your studies. Then by the time you come to actually applying to these firms, you'll have built up a good knowledge by not doing too much. But over the, the couple of years of study, you've followed them and you've seen, you know, their developments and, and you know, yeah. what sort of firm they are. So I think by being organised in, in, in that sense, you can make life easier when it comes to sort of year three and you're you're making your applications um for your you know graduate jobs something that i found that really helped me that sounds so simple but a lot of people don't do is study in your breaks between lectures and tutorials and you know whatever classes you have on that day um sometimes it might only be an hour break sometimes i'd have three hours between lectures and tutorials um, and it's too easy to just go and sit in the, in the cafe with your friends or go and get some lunch or just, you know, read a book that's unrelated to, to the work or study that you've got to do. Um, yeah. But just by getting a little bit ahead by, you know, working while you're there on campus um, during those breaks really helped me um, get ahead, you know, for the week's work and the week's um, tutorial work that I had to, you know, have prepared. What? were the biggest skills and takeaways from the time at the clinic in you know for you um you know what kind of skills really helped you going forward um for me it was learning so much about the practical side of law um and what it really is like to practice law um clearly it's you know very very different Um, studying law at undergrad to you know practicing it um, after you're qualified Um, for me it was great to see um, that how the whole client contact works um, how how what we talk about and learn about in our lectures and tutorials is applied you know in real life I know from obviously our conversations how tough the interview assessment was where you had two really tough interviews um, but you were able to use your experience experiences so maybe you can share about what experiences were helpful and were transferable to the um, job application process a lot of the questions that i was asked are um you know like competency questions um scenario questions situational questions um and i was able to relate my answers directly um, to my own experiences with clients um, or situations that i had worked in through the law clinic or through the family law charity Um, and in all honesty had i not had those experiences i think i would have really struggled um, to to think of answers to those questions this is why i say to to any um law students that are now you know at undergrad that i speak to on on instagram or linkedin get as much experience as you can whilst at undergrad because it will really help in your applications in your interviews and then when you're studying your your lpc or sqe or whichever route you know you're going to take you then don't have to worry about trying to get work experience whilst yeah. doing those postgraduate studies. Obviously, work experience opportunities are quite you know, slim at the minute because of COVID. Um, yeah. However, I think even getting a part-time job, even if it's just a few hours a week, yeah. um, for example, at a supermarket, um, 
not only will give you a little bit of extra money, but it will give you so many transferable skills that if you can't get any experience in your chosen job or career field, um, just get any experience that you can because that is still going to, to give you a lot of transferable skills that you can then use on applications on your CV and then you can relate to um, you know, in interviews. What kind of final words of advice could you give um, young students at university now to give them uh, inspiration and to give them confidence? Ultimately, I would just say don't give up. If, if, you, know, if you want to achieve something, don't let anything get in your way. Um, and nothing comes easy. I mean, for me, gaining the, the funding towards my LPC, um, getting my training contract and um, getting the first in my degree all happened within a two month period. Um, so before, you know, that, that two month period started, I, I kind of felt a bit desperate and a bit helpless. And um, you do kind of question why you're doing what you're doing. But I think it's important to schedule in downtime and time that you switch off and stop thinking about it and do something for, you know, for, for yourself. Um, because ultimately, um, mental health is mental wealth, as they yeah. say. Um, you've got to look after yourself um, and really remind yourself why you are doing what you're doing. What is it that you want to achieve? Um, how do you expect to get there? Um, what obstacles can you envision coming your way um, so that you expect them and you know how to deal with them when they do arise? Um, and just understand that, that there are you know, hundreds of thousands of people in the same situation as you and you will all overcome this, this period of, you know, uncertainty and get where you want to be. It's just about, you know, keeping, keeping on going, you know. Well, no, thanks, Lucy. You've shared so many um, experiences and tips which are going to help so many people. And personally, I'm uh, ex extremely proud of everything that you've achieved. Um, oh, thank you. Know. you. You've, uh, you've worked so hard and you know, you've kept on and I'm so glad that everything's came together in what's been a very yeah. difficult year. Thanks, Lucy. You've shared so many um, experiences and tips which are going to help so many people. And personally, I'm uh, ex extremely proud of everything that you've achieved. Um, oh, thank you. Know, you. You've, uh, you've worked so hard and you know, you've kept on and I'm so glad that everything's came together in what's been a very yeah. difficult year. Thanks, Lucy. And, um, Thank Keep you going. for having me. No, well done for everything.